to Knitter's Gotta Knit podcast, Stitch 28. Wow. So it's March. I'm Carrie, and, and on Ravelry, I'm I'm a Knitphomaniac, and on Instagram, it's just Knitphomaniac. And I'm Darlene on um, Instagram. I'm Bags of Awesome Granny, and Ravelry, I'm just Awesome Granny. So um, we recorded last month after not having recorded for about four months, and thank you everybody for all the welcomes and glad that you're back and all the great comments and everything so it really feels good to know that people are happy that we're back it does so it does so um how has your week been or month been um it's been good i mean it's been busy you know we had a lot of family stuff going on and mm -hmm. motorcycle races and and you know just normal Normal life stuff. Normal life stuff. So. I got sick shortly after the last time we recorded, and I was sick for a while, and I'm not sure that I've 1,000% recovered from that. I'm still pretty sleepy every once in a while, but um, the doctor's checking some things out just to see if it's something else. And now Paige is sick, like on death's door. Really? And she drives me crazy because she waits till she's on death's door, and, and then she sends me a message, Mom, I'm dying. What's wrong with her? I think she has an upper respiratory infection. She might have strep or the flu or something, but she just waits too she long. She better go to the doctor. Um, she's called the doctor this morning. We've seen our doctor um, for a very, very long time, and we usually go in for the same thing. So she's kind of busy this week. Last week was spring break, so she wasn't very busy last week. So she is busy this week. And... Um, you know, she really needs the money, so she can't really, she doesn't have the time. Yeah. To, I know it, not everybody has the time to go to the doctor. I understand that. Um, and you usually just make time, but she really doesn't have the time, and she can't afford to be sick. So she's called them and asked them if they would call them what they normally call him, not asking for, you know, like narcotics mm -hmm. or anything. But well, just she like, could go to a clinic after yeah, work or something. If she has to, she will, um, you know, but she usually gets like an inhaler and maybe some steroids, just like prednisone to help with. You know her cough and stuff but um they're you know they have to ask the doctor and then they have to call her back and let her know so we'll see we'll see what happens and Paige cut my hair i know it looks great everybody complimented it. on how wonderful darlene's hair looked and it does it looks super cute so Paige cut my hair this past friday and she's like how much do you want me to take off i'm like cut it short she couldn't believe it but she did she it looks really it cute i like it so i really like it too so hmm. i'm enjoying it well carrie and i last not last weekend, weekend before last, we went to my son's house. Oh, it was amazing. Casey invited, Casey moved, he moved from his old house to a new house, and where he lives, there's a, it's like a man-made lake in the back. Now, there's been different, different things, you know, Casey says it's a man-made pond, that's what I say too, but it is like almost two miles around it. It's, so it's, it's pretty big. It's kind of big. It reminds me of like a fancy hotel, you know, where there's like a body of water by a fancy hotel and then they've got like a fountain going or whatever. Yeah, it has five fountains in it, I think. It's really beautiful and it's got ducks and turtles and and all sand cranes and all kinds of things in it. And, and in his living room, he has French doors. So it's called those doors that they yeah, both open French up. Doors. And when it when he opens it up, it just looks right out onto this lake. I mean, it beautiful. really is beautiful. So very peaceful, he, very calming. It really is. And he invited us um, and his friend Camille to come because Camille was wanting to learn to crochet or knit. So we mm -hmm. thought she would be better at crochet. So he invited her and invited us, and he was such an amazing. Host. host. I mean, he, he cooked for us. He did. He wouldn't Every let us clean day. the dishes. We tried. Yeah. Carrie and I did times. sneak in and do the we breakfast did. dishes on we Sunday. We did one breakfast dish. But, yeah. I mean, one he didn't want dishes. us doing anything. I mean, he just, like, waited on his hand and foot. I mean, it was... It was amazing. It was amazing. And um, Camille, she wanted to thank us by having this little dinner party. And um, her and Casey went to Hobby Lobby, I think. And he got like a little milk, they got a milk jug with some pink and white flowers and some little candles. And she bought the cutest little um, tiara and napkin holders. And it was hilarious. It was cause hilarious. She, I had pictures to insert. She was saying that it was um, white trash chic, I think that's what she said. Is oh, that what I, she said? Uh, maybe white I think trash that's what chic. She said. I mean, it was, yeah. And she had, she set this table, she made a table runner and put lights under this table runner and hung lights on Casey's window and put you know the flowers and the candles and stuff in the middle of the table and then she put um 
styrofoam plates on the table and put napkins in the in the ring in the little T R things. But then pictures. It, 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 was it was just the cutest it was thing. And then she had to take my glasses off so I don't have a glare. She had some fabric that she bought. Um, I don't know what she bought that fabric for, but she ended up cutting the fabric up to be na to and be like making in a little like napkin little holders. napkins. Uh -huh. And Casey, he was like, "This is really cute." I mean, he was such a good sport about it. You he know, was. he like let her do whatever. Her and the girls were sitting. Yeah, but she up. had like lights strung up on yeah. the blinds. It was cute. And, and, it was uh, great. And then Casey was like, I get I get the, the atmosphere you're trying to create, and I I think it's cool, but we cannot eat supper on styrofoam plates. Because we were having ribeye. We, we had ribeye. Uh -huh. So Casey was like, we can't eat steak on on plates. So no, we, we got real plates for supper, but then after supper, we put the styrofoam mm -hmm. ones back. We did. It was we did. just cute. She it was, was amazing. She's just the funniest mm -hmm. thing. I mean, she's... She's cute. And then we, uh, my granddaughter, Brindley, so she was telling Casey that the body of water behind his house was a canal. Casey was like, no, it's a man-made lake. I said it was a man-made pond. And Brindley, I don't know what Brindley was trying to say, but she was trying, I think maybe she was trying to say canal, but she called it a canooter. A canooter. A canooter. And so we called it the rest of the weekend. It was crochet and canooter Canooters. retreat. Mm -hmm. It was, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. And then we, we, we got there on Friday and we left on Sunday and it was just the best time. And Casey was like, y'all come back anytime. And I saw Camille at a motorcycle race on, well, I saw her all weekend. I'm sorry. Cause the, the, her little boy and my granddaughter, they raced Saturday. We were there till almost midnight on Saturday and then had to get back to get up at 5.30 on Sunday and go back and didn't get home until 7 o'clock on Sunday. I am still, like, beat from, I, from yeah, it. But I completely get it. I mean, it was exhausting. The kids did good, but I was, I was exhausted. But anyway, she told me, she said, we need to do it again. She said, we need to do more of more of these. And and we told her that we, we would. And, you know, it was... It, it was just a lot of fun. It was a very nice weekend. It so. was. It was. That was raining. Sorry. Um, and you know what we did during that week and what we knitted on that week? Oh, my gosh. It's the Vortex cardigan. I love this thing. It's the brioche section. It's horrible. Darlene loves knitting on it. She wants to do the entire sweater in brioche. I have one more row of brioche, and then and then we, and then we can move on to something else. But it's just it's it's just I'm just not a brioche person. It's not. She's not. It's she just, loves the look. I like she just the look, like but it. it's just not. I mean, it's just not easy. I mean, the brioche part is easy, but then the decreases and increases. There, there's one I have row trouble that with it. Darlene calls hell row, hell row. Yes. because it is hell. Yeah. Whenever we were at Casey's, we cast it on, and it took two hours to cast it on. It took forever. Because it's, it's 537 yeah, stitches. A whole bunch of stitches. And then Carrie's reading this Hell Row to us. Because Hell Row is number one. And uh, it's one, five, nine, and 13. She's got a I memorized. know what they are. <laughs> but um, Kate, she was reading it to us. She was like, okay, now do this. Now do this. And Casey was like, I was expecting y'all to say, now stick out your tongue and stand on one foot and jump around or something. He yeah. was like, I had no idea what y'all were talking about. Like twister or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It so was I'll be cute. I'll be glad to get that section finished. So she's almost done with that section. I have a few more. I'm actually on my last hell row right now. Um, and we usually work on it at lunch here, but, you know, with recording, it's harder to do brioche. So yeah, we'll I'll, pull down I'll, our regular knitting. I wanted to get it finished today, but so I may, since I'm not finishing that today... I probably won't get it finished until after I finish this. Which is Peyton's because sweater. Because this is Peyton's sweater. And I really, Tim, my son-in-law, bought a, bought Shyla, me, and Peyton all pink tickets. Pink concert tickets. And I'm we excited are so order. excited. It's in two days. But it's on Thursday. And so mm -hmm. I really want Peyton to be able to wear her new sweater to the pink concert. So, I mean, I, only, I have like two inches left. But it's two inches of... A bazillion stitches of ribbing, because even though Peyton is eleven, I make she likes her sweaters kind of big, and so I'm making this an adult extra small. I can't really show it very well because it's 
it's still it's on the needles. I'm but trying here, to take a picture of it when it's not when she's at the end of the row or something. But, but you know, we always do pictures. And I think it's going to be so cute on her. So it's almost done. I have two two inches left. It looks great. So I probably won't um, work on anything else until I get this finished. And she wants a hat to match it, but I know that won't happen. That by, won't by happen Thursday. by Thursday. But I will get the hat made. But it's really cute. But it's weird construction. I mean, it's... It's, it's different. It's, it's got... The sleeves are like a, a drop. It's the way that... Know, it, it's, it's the way that they... It's like a very long drop. So, like, normally I would think that your armhole would be, like, right around here. And then this material would be divided from the body of the material. But it's more connected. It, it's very beautiful. It's very It's beautiful. really cute. I mean, and you're, exactly like the pattern. Where is the, let me show you this one picture. So this is how it is it is supposed to look on the little, it's, this is how it looks on the little girl. So it's really cute on, but it's just really weird. It's just a weird construction. There'll be a link to it in so, the show notes. But I hope it looks, I hope it looks as cute on her as it looks on this little girl. If it don't, I've done something wrong. No, it will. So, It'll probably look cuter on Peyton, because Peyton's well, cuter. Peyton is, about, is adorable, so. so. Um, and I am working on Grace's sweater because guess what's what this Thursday is when you go to your pink concert. Yeah, I know. It's Grace's birthday. So do you think you'll have it done by Saturday? I do. I'm really, really praying that I will. So I've taken Friday off to work on it all day. Um, and then I will still have part of Saturday to work on it. Now, Antonio's playing soccer now. So, um, I think he starts his games this coming Saturday. He has wow. his first two games this Saturday. So, in the morning, I won't... I mean, I'll take it to knitting with me, but I bet y'all be too excited to watch him play. Yeah. And yeah. Um, especially his first game. Oh, I'll be yeah. taking pictures and stuff. So, um, but I will have the afternoon work on it. So, I won't see Grace for her birthday. She's back at college, and but she is coming into town this weekend because my nephew, Sean, he's in a play at Antonian Co College. How is it called? at Antonian High School. It's a college preparatory school. And um, he has the lead role. The play is Grease, and he's Danny Zuko. He's been on the news stations here lately in the morning. Uh, my sister, like, recorded a little bit of a news station where they're, like, you know, talking about it so people, you know, go out and buy a ticket or whatever. And um, so we tease him that he's already famous because he's already been on TV. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'll see Grace for that play. We're going to go have dinner at my sister's house before the play, and then we'll go to the play, and then and then go home. It'll be a long night for me, because I don't usually stay up that late, but it'll be worth it. So I'm hoping to have this finished by um, Saturday when I see her. And if it's not 100% finished, hopefully all I have left is just a few sleeves. So here's the um, here's the back. It's beautiful. I've already done the... It's, it's, curled in so you can't really see it that well but I've already done the the underarm on the on the back I only have like five or six more rows on the back and then the, they just kind of stay on the needles for a while remember I'm the one that made up this pattern this dumb pattern and then um I thought I had another piece but I must have not brought it I have another skein of yarn but oh here it is this it's in the middle of a row because I'm running out of yarn but this is one front and the other front is about at the same spot. So this front is already making the little short rows for the pockets. The sweat, This blue sweater is gonna be like the sweater I'm wearing. So like the sweater I'm wearing, it has like a folded in pocket with these, with these decreases. So I still have to do all of this of the fronts and then two sleeves, but like I said, I'll just- You know, just... we should have worked on that and this at Casey's, we would be we should have, but then we, we wouldn't be, have I this. Know, I know, I know. But, you know, there's so. never enough time to do all the knitting that you want, at least mm -hmm. not for me. No, right? me neither. I have a million and things going. I even going have less time than you. I always have a million things so. going, but um, I'm going to do my best. I know that Grace will understand if it's not done exactly by Saturday. Plus, it's not really all that cold yeah. for this sweater. I mean, I'm wearing it in the building. Well, she's in Dallas. She's in Dallas, so gets, she is colder. It's colder, but. And she is cold-blooded like her mom. But also, so I made my dad a sweater two Christmases ago, Christmas of 18, uh, 17, and um, in Malabrigo Rios. And Janice loved it. So I got Cascade 220 for Janice's, and I'm, because I didn't want the exact same red. 
and um, I made Janice one in February of 2018, so last year. Well, my dad's is too warm for him. He, he wants a vest, so I'm gonna make him a vest out of the same yarn, this Paris Night Blue that Grace picked, and Janice got my dad's sweater, and Grace got my sister's sweater. So she's not freezing. She has a hand-knit sweater that she's wearing, um, that she can wear. She just doesn't have her birthday one yet, so hope, but I'm, I do have plans to work on it. Jaime's on a motorcycle ride. He might be coming home tonight. He might be coming really? home tomorrow. They're not sure yet. A lot less guys went than what they had originally scheduled. And, um, you know, they were going to go to New Mexico and to Arizona, but there was a cold front that came through. And I know that, you know, 32 or 42 degrees isn't all that cold to a lot of people. Uh, but when you're on a motorcycle... It is freezing when you're on a motorcycle. It is very, very cold. I don't care where you're from or who you are. So When, when you, you're on a motorcycle, that's cold. So at the last minute, they kind of changed. They, first, they were going to reverse their route and go to... Tomball, Arizona, then up to Alpine, Arizona, then through New Mexico, and then back down to Texas. But I think it was cold everywhere they went. The farther north that they went, it was just cold. And some places even had snow, so they again decided to go up. Um, I think they stopped in Alpine, Texas, and then they went down into... When did he leave? They left last weekend? No. Yeah. Was, uh, Saturday yeah. morning this yeah. past so they've been weekend, gone almost four a days, week. uh, four days, and he'll. Well, no, this is just Tuesday. So. so it's Tuesday. So he's been gone four days: Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. But they made it in like a day. Well, it's only so, what five hundred miles. Yeah, I think that's what they did. Five hundred. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, so you know they've been to Big Bend several times. So while they wanted their their ride, like they always take, you know, they never go two weeks like you and Bruce yeah. do. But you know they wanted their regular ride, but. Unfortunately, they're going into the same place that they've ridden several a lot. times. They've been there a lot. You know, so he did say that the my favorite cactus is there's this cac cacti um, that grows there in Big Bend that has these orange tips, and it's my favorite. And he says they're in bloom, and he says the blue oh, bonnets I think that's are pretty. He says the blue bonnets are really beautiful right now. He said they've been in bloom for so long. He says they're almost dying off um, already. And um, anyway, so. He's been gone, so I've been working on this, and I don't know what night he's coming back, but I plan to faithfully work on this every night this weekend. This I week. think we just need to put the vortex to the side and mm -hmm. finish those that brioche when we finish it and get this and, done and get that done. Yeah. And then after I'm done with this, I know I'm going to stay committed to my vortex, but after I'm done with this, the only other thing I'm going to work on besides hats, because I always have hats going, is Shala's weekender. weekender. Because when I get her weekender done, I want to start her the the her blue one for the, the bulky one the bulky blue the bulky one because uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think that will go really fast I think I can probably get that one done if I work on it in a couple of weeks but probably. I want to get the weekender done I want to like try to like get stuff get done. more stuff done and more stuff started so, I'm, I'm with you and I'm ahead of her on the weekender so she my is because been sitting for a while I, I I started it and I only have about I don't know four inches done on it but I wanted to get Peyton's done. Sure. No, I put Peyton's ahead. Sorry, Shyla, I put Peyton ahead of you. But right. I really sometimes to... she's the other way. Sometimes she puts you ahead yeah. of Peyton. Yeah, not very often. No. But, <laughs> but but I really want to get this to Peyton, and then and I'm so close, so then I can concentrate on Shyla's. But the only other thing I have, well, I have a couple of things. I have a hat of Shyla's that I'm making. It's called the Feller Cap. And Shala loves hats, so she I can is. make. I don't. I don't even have to ask her. Do you like this? She just likes everything. I'm. She just likes all hats. So I'm making her that. But while we were at Casey's, Casey made the comment to um, us that if he had, I'm. I don't watch Riverdale. I know Riverdale is a. It's a. Um, I'm sorry, I can't talk and look at patterns at the same time. Riverdale is a show it's a show but it's ba it's it's like you know the archie comic book when we were kids or i was a kid where jughead wore those pointy hat and stuff well riverdale i think is a like a real show based About on that him? comic book sorry I got warm. so i think it's i think that's what it is if i could be wrong but i think that's what it is well casey made the comment he was like if i had a jughead hat i would wear the heck out of that and i was like 
Okay, so we found this, we found a couple of, I bought three different jug head patterns before we settled on one, but this is the one that I bought. And a I even- A jug head beanie. A jug head beanie, and I even found the little buttons to put she on it. She found the buttons on it, see, um, so. Oh, and yeah. then I started, here, here it is so far. I'm a little concerned. This is three of the points, so it's gonna fold down like this, or fold up. So this is the top of the hat. Yeah, so, so it'll fold up head. like this. I'm a little worried about it being too small because Casey has a big head, but it's also supposed to fit. fit it's supposed it. to be a snug fit. So, so I'm gonna a hat, hat kind of angle. So you really should take your center from like your little. We did um, get a guy at, that's on my team at work who has a big head, and he wears the same size cowboy hat. No, right? his was a his was a little bit smaller, but and we measured it on him when she only had one wedge, and it looked like it was going to work. But I might can block it longer, you know. But I don't I mean, want to like. I think it is going to. But if it don't fit him, then I, he can give it to one of the girls, and I can make him another no. one. But I, we didn't want to make it way too big because it is supposed to be a fitted a fitted hat. Plus I think the pattern so, calls for six points and she's you're gonna make seven. seven. She's uh -huh. gonna make a seven. So that's gonna add a little bit yep. of size to it. And I think he'll look just the cutest like well he already is a cute well thank you. He's he's kinda cute. But. He's very cute. <laughs> so but and then some I'm doing the Riverdale, I'm doing Shala's hat, the Riverdale, and Peyton's sweater, and Shala's sweater, and that's, that's, that's all I've got going on. We both finished an 1898 hat. I'm going to have to put the pictures in. That was our March hat. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Our March and hat. And it's kind of a cool hat. I wore mine at the, at the track this weekend. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you them. like it? Yeah. Yeah, Good. it's really warm. So. And, um. Uh, so that was March's hat, and uh, I have pictures to insert of that one. And then I've pretty much just done the vortex. Me, me too. The vortex and Grace, yes. and Grace's shawl and Grace's shawl. But I did. Oh, I did make um, Casey a blanket to say thank you for that weekend, um, for having us. So Darlene has made him a crocheted blanket before, but he complained that it was too holy because it was one of those where you do the pattern and you like. You do so many, extra, it's crocheted, so you do so many extras at the top for the increase, and then you do like, you skip two on the bottom for the decrease. So that's what makes the, I guess it's a ripple, a chevron, a chevron. ripple. Mm -hmm. And I found another pattern that when I was making the baby blankets while I was on leave, that um, it does the extra stitches at the top for the increase, but on the decrease it does, it does crochet, double crochet togethers, like two double crochet togethers instead of skipping spaces so it makes it just a little less holy um not a whole lot less holy but a little bit less holy because it's still big yarn on big needles so i still think it's a holy pattern just no matter what but um i have a picture to insert so i made him one in his in his bedroom colors and it looks so good green uh beige and cream and cream yeah green beige and cream so it looks like it he and really he loves it, it. Mm -hmm. he does yeah. love it and i gave it to him and i forgot Weave in the beginning oh, edge. I forgot to weave it in too. Well, he's got a blanket with it's the I did the ends when I finished. I just forgot the you know the first one. Uh -huh. I thought I had already done it. I told him I would do it, and I, and, I um, forgot. And then I gave it to him, and he and he holds it out, and I <laughs> see the beginning the beginning tail that's still sitting there. I'll tell him to you to, to get a needle and weave it in himself. Or yeah, or, or bring he can it, bring it to bring me it, next yeah, time he comes. Yeah, so, so. I felt so bad, but, but he did. So, he, did, he did love it. So those were some finished objects, and then I've just been working on um, this and this. And then we both still want to work on our Weekender, and we still both want to do the All the Lights cardigan. And, and I really want to make Casey a brownstone. Yeah, she wants to make a brownstone, and I think I'm, I'm going to need to start a, a wallaby soon for Paige. Um, and I got two different grays for her. She wants a wall of it. So Paige watched the pod, the last podcast, and she doesn't usually watch them all. And um, she said, "I watched the podcast, and there's something that I want." And I was like, "What?" I was just waiting for it to be like something really complicated. And she said, "She wants a wall of it like Peyton's. Remember, darling, fixed Peyton's from when she was like 
five, five years ago uh -huh. from, and, and uh, redid it and added some length and everything. She said that she wanted a loose one. She doesn't want a fitted one. She did think the fitted one looked cute on Peyton, but she says, I want a loose one, pull over, she calls him. And so I said, okay. So then I showed her one color. She said she wanted it in gray. So I got smoke, which is a light, light gray in a Barocco, com a Barocco vintage. It's like the lark sweat, out of the lark sweater uh -huh. I'm making shower. And, um, and then Darlene said, I think I have this dark charcoal. And so then I showed the pictures to Paige. I said, which one would you rather have? And she said, both. So I got charcoal and smoke to make two wallabies. And it's funny that the, the yarn, the charcoal and the smoke, um, the charcoal is your weekender is for the Shia. weekender for Shyla, and the smoke, smoke is, is the lark for Shyla, uh -huh. which I really need. To so get Shyla back to will that. Shyla will have the same color. Shyla and Paige will have matching mm -hmm. colored sweaters. Mm -hmm. Same yarn. So, um, so I told her that I would I would get on those pretty soon. Wallaby is such an awesome pattern. I mean, it's it should go quick. It right? should. Once it's it's yeah. in the round. And you know me when I get to knit, and I just. You know, knit, 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 knit. It goes pretty fast for me, as long as I don't have, you know, a pattern. Yeah, you, but, you um, cast on one and I'll cast on one. Yeah, so she, Darlene's going to have many. That's what Paige was too. And it's also funny because Shyla called Darlene and said, I want one of Carrie's cardigans, the test uh -huh. cardigan I made. And, and that black stole like you gave Rosanna. Oh, you tell and Rosanna that, uh, to give that back to you. Okay, we'll call her up. Okay. <laughs> and one of the, that was in 2017 stole in the gray. Oh, and she wants that football hat. Oh, and the football hat. So she wanted three things. Paige just wanted one thing. She just happened to want two of them. So I, I did give Shiloh the cardigan, though, because I, I wasn't all that hip with it. It looks it's so just, cute on her, and it looks, it looks so cute, cute on, on Peyton. Peyton. It looks cute on both of them. It does. So I would rather somebody that it looks cute on have it than somebody it doesn't look cute on. And I probably wouldn't have worn it as often. So I think Shiloh's wore it, and Peyton's wore it, and I'm sure I'll probably wear it to the concert um, on, on Thursday because, you know, she won't have a new sweater. But by golly, Peyton's going to have a new sweater. So in doing this one for Grace, I took pages away from her so I could, like, look at it and figure out what I'm doing. And I've been wearing it a lot because we've been kind of chilly in the, in the office. It's been kind of cold at my desk. So I've been wearing it a lot. And I told Darlene, I said, I think I'm going to make myself one. I think I've really enjoyed wearing this. I mean, it's just so plain. So I have been taking better notes. That's I'm not going to write up a pattern. Are you going to make it with Rios or? Rios in that Pearl 10. I ripped out my. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to make the boxy worsted in Pearl 10. I have a. And the Pearl 10 is this cup. It's this. Yes, it is. It's uh -huh. whatever, wherever Casey's hat is. It's this yarn. This is full tent, so I want to make one like in this color for me. So then there'll be three matching sweaters, all in pro, all in Rios. They're all Rios. I love Rios. And so, um, but my kids, both of them. So Casey, I made I made him something, a hat or something. Oh, that antler hat, and I told him to be careful washing it. You know that because you know hand knit stuff, washing it. And he told me, he said, Mama, will you not make me anything else that I can't wash? So he's like taking a page out of his sister's handbook, you know, because uh -huh. Shyla don't like anything that can't be washed. And, you know, it's because they don't want to ruin it, you know. And of course. And of they're course. so busy. You know, Shyla's busy with, you know, you know, they just don't have the time to like sort their laundry. And they each have a sweater out of Beaver Slide that they can't wash. You know, they can't wash either one of those sweaters. So... Every time they need them to be washed, they have to bring them to me and I wash them. Well, that's kind of a pain, you know. I'm sure it is. And so they're like, they're both like, just make it out of yarn that can be washed. I'm like, but that, and I'm not dogging on any, on, on like Barocco, because I love Barocco. I mean, it's a nice yarn, and it's the nicest yarn I've found that can be washed. And Shyla has washed her Barocco med what was the name of that sweater? Madeline? Miranda. Miranda. Her, Miranda. her Miranda sweater, she's washed it I don't know how many times, and that sweater is about six years old. So the yarn holds up great. So I'm probably going to, every time I knit Casey or Shyla or Peyton or any of the kids' sweaters, will probably be, be out of Broco yarn. So Have you ever washed Rios? You know what? I haven't wa I haven't washed it in the, in, I should. I should do that. But you should I've, wash pages. I should well, it needs washing. 
Bru you know, I washed, I hand washed Bruce's Ranger because I wanted to start wearing it. Mm -hmm. And so I hand washed it and whenever I did, that stuff got, it was, it, you know how it, it just becomes huge, you know, because the water pulls it and stuff. And I mean, it really stretched. So I did dry it. I dried it in the dryer and it shrunk it a little bit. It actually could have stood to be shrunk a little bit more. Wow. So maybe Rios would wash okay. Maybe I should just wash that Ranger and see what happens. It's supposed to be washable. I know it says super wash, mm -hmm. but you know, and, and it pro it might not hurt it any worse than it hurts it washing it in the sink and then lifting it up to get the water out of it because I mean, it stretches like crazy. But I did dry it in the dryer. I mean, I completely dried it in the dryer and it 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 held up fine. Wow. So, so maybe I'm just a big chicken and Rios can be washed in and washed and also. Um, yeah, I, mean, I should just try it. I'm a and chicken see. with you. Yeah. I you mean, I, I obviously haven't done any of it, but Rios is one of my favorite yarns. It is my favorite sweater yarn. Uh -huh. It's one of my favorites. And speaking of sweaters, well, so Broco is my second favorite. I think I really, I really do like Broco. And the good thing about Broco is it, it, it not only looks good, it has great stiff stitch definition. But it is super affordable. It is. It is very affordable. It is. And I, I was fortunate enough to get my dad's yarn and some of Paige's yarn on sale when, of the of the um, Malabrigo Rios. But um, it is super affordable. I got enough yarn for Paige's Wallaby, I think, for $68. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, a, it's eight skeins. That's a very reasonable spreader. Uh, yeah. You know? Eight fifty a skein, I think, it comes out too. And um, speaking of sweaters, so we did ask in the last podcast if anybody wanted to, you know, do another cal or whatever. And I, only, I think only a couple of people replied and said that they'd be um, willing to do maybe sweaters or cardigans or something. So I thought maybe we'll do a sweater cardigan along or we can do a body along where if it's on your body, if you wear it on your body, you can... I, we can do that, but I would... I don't really want it to just be hats because we all know how how fast hats are to make. You know. Okay. What yeah. Do you, what do you yeah, think? I think that you know. So maybe we should just say you know have a sweater along, okay. sweater or cardigan, you know, something or a vest, vest, you know, uh -huh, vest, uh -huh. oh. something like that, you know, for up top. Um, and I'll get that started. I um, mean, if you really want to knit sweater pants, go ahead. But you know, I won't be doing that. <laughs> And uh, so uh, a couple of the prizes didn't get claimed, so I'll just roll those over into the next cowl, and, but most of them did. And, um, and I'll start a thread for that in, in Ravelry, and I'm looking forward to it. And you know what, well, whips, whatever. I, I'm not so set on, you know, you have to have started this date. Or no, whatever. I'm not just either. finish it in the time frame, you know, to, you know, to load it. Don't, don't load something from, you know, 2017 that you made. And I mean, if you only have a bind off, you might not want to put that in there. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But, but, but you know, we you know, we're, act, just do what you want. There, there's no know? knitting police here. We're you not, want. you know, you know, enter it. Um, we just want people to knit with us. We so. do. We just love knitting, so we love to see your stuff. We put it in a thread and give you prizes for it at the end. Yep. So that's fun for us. So, um, so I have a. I don't have this material with me, but I got some new material that's so cute. It you know unicorns are like the most popular things ever these days. <laughs> well, I found some material that's a cat. It's a catacorn. <gasps> it's the cutest thing. <laughs> so, that um, sounds cute. It's, so, I, hopefully Bruce will have that made today and I can get it um, posted. And But you know, I should show shop. a couple of my, of my more recent ones. Like, this is what's holding Grace's sweater. It's got sheep on it and they're cute. They're in the shop. That's in the shop. Mm -hmm. And then, um, where's my, where's my, here's this one. This is what my vortex oh, is yeah. in. Sheet knitting. I really like that one. And that one was just about sold out, but I ordered more materials, so, so yeah, this I'll is have my, plenty of that. I think it matches. You know, I'd like to try and match my bags with my knitting, but um, I think I only have one more story, and that's okay. probably all I have. So um, a couple of years ago, somebody at my work was gifted a box of cookies from an online company. And that online company is called Cheryl's.com. And um, the cookies are delicious. I wouldn't know because she's never given me one. I knew I was going to get that. Mm -hmm. I deserve that. Yep. She does. The 
cookies are delicious. And so <laughs> it took a while, but like a while later, I got an email for um, like a fairly inexpensive little package for whatever holiday was coming up. So I ordered it and Antonio had some of the cookies and he loved them. So usually when their cookies go on sale, I order Antonio more cookies. Well, this time they had a sale on the St. Patrick's stuff that was before St. Patrick's Day. So I ordered a little box of like six cookies. And Antonio came over to the house and Paige was in the car, they were leaving. And I said, hold on, I have something in the mailbox for you. So I stopped Paige and I go run to the mailbox and I rip the bag open and I throw two cookies to Antonio. They're each individually wrapped. Every cookie is individually wrapped in its own wrapper. So Paige is like, where's my cookie? And I was like, oh, okay, so I gave, I give Paige a cookie. She takes the cookie to work. She doesn't even eat the cookie, okay? Takes the cookie to work, and this is like, I want that cookie, which is Paige's best friend. They work together. This is like, I want that cookie. So Paige gives the cookie to Bizzle. Bizzle takes a bite of the cookie, and, and they are very good cookies. They like melt in your mouth. They're like buttercream sugar cookies or something. They're very good, shortbread, I don't know. And um, so Bizzle's like, oh my gosh, Trey has to try this. Now Trey's the owner of the shop. And he loves sweets. So Bizzle goes up to the front of the shop and gives, she's like, Trey, you have to try this. Breaks off a piece for Trey, gives that to Trey. I'm at Casey's house. This is two weekends ago. I'm mm -hmm. at Casey's house uh, knitting on the Vortex. And Paige starts blowing up my phone. Paige doesn't ever blow up my phone. She starts blowing up my phone. She's like, oh my gosh, where did you get the cookies from? N nobody can stop talking about these cookies. We have to get more cookies, you know, blah, 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 blah. Bottom line, I ordered more cookies and I took it to the shop this weekend. But they're really good cookies. So I was going to say to anybody out there, if you guys have a good cookie recipe, oh, yeah. I don't have to keep buying cookies. I want a good like butter cookie or like shortbread recipe because I like to bake. I'm not necessarily all that great at it, but I do enjoy doing it. I do enjoy baking. Um, so um, anyway, if you have a recipe to send me, send me a recipe. And if you want to try those Cheryl's cookies, it's on right out there. Oh. They're kind of pricey. Well, unless they're on sale. So when I took cookies to the shop this time, they got hearts because Valentine's Day is over. And those were what was, mm -hmm. they were like, I don't know, 30 or 40% off. Oh, speaking of kids, um, Charlotte liked to got killed by her dogs this weekend, a couple of weekends ago. She got up to walk, you know, in the middle of the night or whatever. I don't know what she was doing that, but she was walking in the dark and tripped over her lab. And oh my gosh, she like it. She has like this massive bruise all on her knee. I showed that to you. Yeah, right? you did. So, uh -huh. but but she saved Tim's laptop. She did. She uh -huh. said that um, the laptop survived the fall. Wow! So, wow! I'm but, impressed. I'm impressed. Good job, Shyla. Um, Good job. Well, it was a quick one, and we knew it was going to be quick. But we'll be back in about a month. We haven't done much, but we we are thankful that you guys are all happy that we're back. And we are. Thank you for yeah. all the wonderful. Comments and everything, I'll get the cow started, and I guess we'll see you in about a month. Bye. Bye. Bye.